Hi friends, I'm Wani and welcome to Wani's house. We're going to start this video with the Wani What Are You Wearing? I shared this with you guys on Reels and on my Instagram. I have on this leopard print dress with black boots. I'm going to put on a black jacket and I have my Teddy Blake purse to bring it all together. Then after work this day, we headed on into Ross. Let's see what they have. So when I went into Ross, guys, Ross had some magnificent modern type um, decor pieces and it just blew me away. I had to pull my camera out because I wanted you to see these um, decor pieces and they were just simply fabulous. Like this is a two piece wall art. I love the black and white. You know, I love the gold framing. The um, front of it is glass. It is so elegant. It's very modern and you get two of them for that price. That is excellent. You will not be able to get anything like this anywhere else, but um, I didn't need them, but I wanted you guys to see that um, you can find it at Ross. Now this table right here blew me away. If I had a space for it, it would have been going home with me. What I loved about it is that the top of it is black. Then you have the gold around um, that, um, the brown, the base. And then the base, guys, is this beautiful smoky brown color. That price is amazing now this is definitely a piece that you would definitely find in like our house i would even say that you could find it at pottery barn it is so fabulous and at 79 dollars, that is a great deal it, it would be a great little side table um to be in a bedroom if you had like a reading nook if you had like um another separate area this could even be great in like a man cave it is so sexy very modern i love it love it love it now you know ross always has these great little settees or they have these um little um benches this one does not disappoint love that color i love all the styling on it i love the shape of the back i love all of the details another great little bench that will be awesome at the end of a bed another one that would be great in an office area a little seating area when you come into the home great um design amazing price another piece guys that if you are looking for um inexpensive pieces that can go a long way throughout your deck your decorating you want to go and look at what ross has now they get things all the time so you're going to have to make a couple of trips and you might have to make several trips to several different Rosses but every time they always have something new and I'm loving 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 the direction of all of their modern furniture now I know you guys have seen these chairs all over the place you've seen them on Instagram TikTok, our house pottery barn you've seen them everywhere and once again i love it i love the color i love the aesthetic of it and i even sat in it it is very comfortable if you um once again this would be great in a living room area a bedroom area a sitting area and it, it is just like perfect and another piece that can definitely last you and um you just add um updated pieces and this can transform with you throughout your decorated styles now you know at ross you can always find um unique vases and things like that and i love this decor piece right here this was gorgeous now i would have gotten this had it been in gold it is beautiful in silver i don't use um silver um often you know my metallic of choice is gold this is what it looks like on the other side it is so exquisite another piece that would be great in a shelving unit in the entryway um styled up so cute and guys that price $16.99 was excellent. I'm on the lookout for a gold.
Now, Ross also has um, a great selection of picks. Now, they don't get a lot of them, so when you see them and you're interested, you need to get them because um, they may not get any more of these picks. You get three stems for $7.99, and so the quality of these are pretty good. And so if you see any picks that you're interested in with any color combination that you're interested in, definitely go ahead and grab them because they will not be there. And once again, you know, I love the art. Any type of abstract art is definitely going to cap capture my attention. And Ross, once again, they never disappoint. Well, sometimes they do disappoint because you late girl, like this art piece right here, love the, com the color combinations, the grays, the gold, the whites, a little bit of tan in there. Will look great in any modern um, home design. And... Um, with their their paintings, you don't break the bank. Now, this is a larger print. They have some more larger prints. Those are typically like $99, $100. But for this, for $39, excellent. Now, this is the lamp that tore me, guys. I actually picked up this lamp. I love the shape of the, um, the shade. I love the color. I love the height. They only had one of these, and this was on clearance for $19.99. I actually got the lamp, put it into my cart, and I was while I'm riding around with it in my cart, I'm like, where are you going to put it? I had no place for it. Gone are the days that I pick up things and plan to use them. I need to have a space for it because, like I tell you all the time, my space is limited. And I tried to think of somewhere where I could use this lamp right now, and there was no place, so I put her back. Absolutely gorgeous. I know I'm going to regret it later. Ross also had some other lamps that I like. Um, they, they weren't on sale, but I love this um, lamp here. Um, I thought it was very unique. I also love the um, gold um, pebble base lamp. I thought that was nice. So always take a look at their lamps. They always have very nice lamps to, um, in the selection. And there's always something to go with all decor styles. I just had to show you these two pieces of art. It is so pretty. I love the design of it, love the blue and the gold. This is definitely one that I would have been interested in had I had a space for it. And then there's this larger one behind it. This one right here, gorgeous. I love the big blotches of gold and blue. Y'all know I'm still crushing on blue. This is so pretty and the price of that was
All right, guys, so I just made a trip to Aldi's. And so I figured I was looking on my Weight Watchers app and I saw this great recipe. It looked good. So that's what we're gonna have today. And because today is like a cold, rainy day, I thought this would be good. So it's like with some type of, um, you make it with chicken thighs. And so you have chicken thighs, chicken broth, um, to, um, tomatoes, jalapenos, um, bell pepper, and some more stuff in there, right? And you cook it in a slow cooker. And then um, you also have it over grits, right? Okay? And so I thought, ooh, that seems like that would be a real good, like, comfy type meal. I thought that I would, um, I'm going to probably do some sauteed string beans. I got some cut up string beans. I'm going to do those. And I'm going to, I have some sourdough bread that I shared with you in another video. I believe you would have seen that by now. So and we're going to have that because I feel like that'll be real good with like a real nice crusty bread. And so I'm going to do the bread and I'll put a little bit of um, olive oil spray on it and we're going to rub it down with some garlic and put that into the toaster so it'll toast. I think that'll be really good to dip into that tomato sauce. So I'm going to show you how we do that now. Like I stated, it goes into the pressure. You could probably could do it in a pressure cooker. Um, I'm going to do this as it states in the slow cooker. So then that way we'll have something for two days. And so while I am working this will be cooking and so um i um saw the recipe and i was like let me run to aldi's right quick on my lunch break so while my so that was good because it took me about 15 20 minutes so i'm gonna put everything together throw it into the um the crock pot and then um, that will be cooking. And about time Mr. B gets home tonight, that'll be done. I need to look and see what the timing is. Once again, I'm gonna try to get this recipe off of the Weight Watchers site and I'm gonna put it down. And I think it's like five or seven points. And then we're gonna add like two points for the bread. So I have to get the exact points. Of course, the string beans are not gonna be anything. So we're only accounting for the grits. And then you add some cheese to it. Oh girl, it's gonna be good. So something else that I bought, <clears throat> we needed tissue. I didn't feel like going by Kroger. So I just got some, this tissue from Aldi's. I needed aluminum foil. I need, just in case I needed some more grits because I don't want to go out again. Um, I got some buttermilk pancakes mix. Some white onions, the tomatoes for this meal, red onions. I am enjoying the red onions in my salads. Um, and that's what I'm gonna have for lunch today. I'm going to have um, another salmon salad. So I'll share that with you guys. Um, some reduced fat Mexican cheese. These are the um, I needed mushrooms for this recipe. It said red or yellow bell peppers. Um, I didn't want to pay three dollars for the red or yellow bell peppers, so I just got regular green bell peppers. Some chicken bouillon because they did not have any chicken broth. So I'm going to go ahead and start um, boiling that down. I needed, I bought the artisan lettuce. Love this stuff. Jalapenos. And then a package of chicken thighs. This has two, four, six in here. So we have two of these. That should be good enough for the next two days. And yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And then 
gonna head back upstairs to finish working. And so the rest of my day is pretty much gonna be mine because I don't have to worry about what I'm gonna be cooking tonight. And um, I'm gonna throw this salad together. We're not really gonna throw it together, guys. These, um, I took out these avocados here. These, I love these. Now, when I was in Aldi's, um, I tried to find some more of those. My elders didn't have it. So I am going to go to the um, my next Aldi's where I got these from to get them. Let me show you. And so this is what it is. They're frozen avocado chunks. And so you take them out, let them thaw. They have 190 calories and I can have, and this is three fourths of a cup. So it says about three servings per container, but this is definitely, I have been putting using, what have I been using? A fourth of a cup. And it's actually less than that. Well, that's how what it is frozen. This is so good. I am going to stock up on these. Like I stated, my allergies did not have it, but I love avocado. So I use this when I have like avocado toast and eggs. I put it in my salad. And um, yeah, it, it is very, very good. So if you like avocados like I do, you are definitely going to enjoy this. And the fact that um, they're frozen. Now, I never knew that you could freeze avocados, so now, when I buy the actual whole avocados, I'm gonna do this so I can have them on hand. Never knew you could freeze avocados, but you can. So I have this. Okay, my freezer is so full. Um, we've cleaned it out and we just have, we need to eat some of that stuff that's up in there. So let me get this done so I can go back to work. I have some um, projects that I'm working on. And then, um, yeah, y'all, so she gonna be able to like really chill and relax. I'm so excited about this meal. And um, it, it seems like it's one of those like comfy, cozy type meals that you'll eat. Oh, it looks so good. I'm gonna show y'all the picture. How many chicken bouillon cubes do I use to make one and three fourths cups? The answer is not common. Most cubes make about three quarters cup for measured amounts, so use about two to three cubes. Alexa, how many chicken bouillon cubes do I make? Alexa, stop. Alexa. How many chicken bouillon cubes do I use to make one and three fourths cups? The answer is not common. Most cubes make about three quarters cup for measured amounts, so use about two to three cubes. Oh guys, it smells so good down here. So we have two hours and 43 minutes left. This is what, woo! This is what the chicken is looking like. I'm gonna taste it, taste the, um, some of the juice. 
so that we'll know if we need to add some more salt, some other seasoning. Let's see. Don't that look good? Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, that's good. That is real good. I'm probably gonna add just a tad bit more of the salt, just a little bit. To take it right, to take it right there. But this seasoned very well. Now, one thing, I want this to be a little bit more thicker, I think. So, um, I might add a little bit of, just a tad bit of flour or some cornstarch to this and just let it go on and cook through. This is, guys, this is definitely going to be a hit. So, I'm going to make our cheesy grits on the side and then we will have this over it and then we'll have it with some real nice crunchy sourdough bread that I'm going to rub, like I stated, with a little bit of um olive oil and then we're gonna rub that with some garlic oh yes yeah mr b thank me later So this is the outfit that I wore on Thursday, guys. And it was such a cute little outfit. It was raining. I wanted to put on something comfortable, cute, but um, and stylish. So my dress is from Rev Dolls. This dust is from X, X Plus Wear. My boots are from Easy Spirit. And the bag is from Teddy Blake. Yeah, she did that. I got so many compliments and you guys like this on my reels. If you guys are missing my reels, you guys need to go and check me out on my Instagram. I try to post some of the things over here also, but I mostly post like these over on my reels for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here. If you enjoyed today's vlog and you like these types of videos or my home decorating videos, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. You can do so by hitting that subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that you won't miss out on any of my upcoming uploads. You can also check me out on my Instagram. You can find me over there at Wani's House. Hit the follow button and then you will be in the know as to what is to come over here at Wani's house. All right, guys, so I'm about to go, but before I do, you know what I always say. The next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.